Hi, I'm Candace Minocchio, C&D's nail and fashion expert, and I'm here with Laura to show her how to do the moon manicure from the fall runways. Let's get started. So we start the manicure, as always, by applying the C&D sticky base coat, which helps to anchor the color. Be sure to seal the extension edge. Apply one thin coat of desert suede. Our golden rule with color is always the thinner the better. A good trick to get the perfect amount of product is to drag the polish off the neck of the bottle and then apply your brush parallel to the nail. Giving it a second to dry, then apply one thin coat of C&D effects in gold pearl. Now we're going to create the moon. I'm placing a bead of C&D gold chrome on a plastic back pad and putting it on my brush. Tap off any excess. On smaller nails, I'm creating the moon with a nail art brush. Carefully trace a half circle along the cuticle line. Afterwards, fill in. You need a steady hand for this part, so place your pinky on the table surface to rest. Now for this finger, we're going to switch it up with a jewel tone color combination. Again, apply the base coat. Follow with one coat of Raisin in the Sun, a beautiful rich burgundy. For metallic finish, go over with C&D FX Copper Pearl. Again, for the moon, place a drop of copper chrome polish on your plastic back pad. Coat your nail art brush and tap the excess off. Then draw the arc and color in. This time, notice that I'm using a tapping technique to fill in, which is good if you're nervous about messing up. If you get any on the cuticle, don't worry, you can always clean up imperfections with a gel brush and polish remover. Now we'll show a different and maybe easier way to achieve the look. This time we want a gold moon, so I'm going to paint the entire nail with a thin coat of gold chrome. Then I'm going in with copper chrome and just outlining the moon area. Create the line along the moon from left to right and immediately start to paint down towards the free edge. Our finished result is a beautiful fall moon manicure for Miss Laura.